What is going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to another episode of Flight for Hype. That's right, baby. When we talk sneakers right now, it's your boy TJ coming to you guys with some more sneaker news. And today I got two pieces of news for you guys. One, a really hype Jordan 1 that is dropping later on this year. And secondly, an amazing boutique store that's been open for 30 years. And they are celebrating their 30th anniversary. And what better way than to collaborate with 20 different brands? But before we get into all that, you know what we do here, pre-recording turn up. Let's jump into it. Ah! <laughs> Look, I see you. She said she wanna come to Toronto. She wanna come to the same side. She know that's the best I do. What is going on guys? We are back. We are back. We are back, man. Thank you so much for just kicking with your boy, man. Before we get into the news and all the cool details that we're gonna get into tonight, make sure you guys check out our two latest videos. One, Jordan just picked up a bunch of Nike Dunks. And also, if you didn't check the last video before that, your boy kind of dropped a few bars on the beat. So make sure y'all check that out. Drop a comment in the comment section below. But now, let's jump into everything we're gonna be talking about today. Starting in at the first topic I wanna to talk about. We all know that the Jordan 1 red bands are one of the most coveted, if not the most coveted Jordan 1s out there to date. Looks like later on this year, in October, we are getting the Jordan 1 red bands, but this time they're getting a black patent leather finish to them. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, you guys know I love black patent leather. Let me show you. Y'all know I love black patent leather. I love the material patent leather. And I know a lot of the OGs might be like, oh my God, I can't believe they put patent leather on the, on the red bands. Like, come on guys, get with the times. Things change, things elevate, new materials get put on old colorways and old silhouettes. It's not that crazy or big of a deal. I really actually like what they've done here. Now these are not official pictures of the sneakers, but these are the best ones that I can find so far. I'm not too sure how it's actually gonna come out, but I mean, if they come out anything like the black metallics that dropped last year, guys, I mean, you know, it's gonna be definitely a big W. Now, I can just predict the resale from these ones from the jump, man. It's not gonna sit like the black metallics. They're gonna go straight up. And I'm telling you right now, they're at least gonna be 350 to 400 bucks right off the bat. Because most people cannot afford an original black and red Jordan 1. I'm gonna get my hair out of my face real quick. All right. Not a lot of people can actually afford a black and red Jordan 1 red band because their prices are absolutely skyrocket through the roof, especially after the Jordan documentary series that dropped on Netflix about a year ago. Those ones, the bread toes, the Chicago's, all of those went up because everyone started going crazy and buying them. So I'm really excited to see how this sneaker is actually to come out. Um, at first I was like, it's funny because it's like the Jordan brand was listening to me. A few weeks ago I was talking to my boy Jordan, I was like, you know, there's nothing really the Jordan brand's really gonna release this year that I'm super excited for. And then two days later, I find out they're dropping the red bands in patent leather. But like here's CJ, dropping money on us, dropping money on us. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this sneaker actually looks, not only on feet, but how the black patent leather really pays homage to the original colorway and the original silhouette. Y'all let me know in the comment section below though, how you guys feel about these sneakers. How do you guys feel about black patent leather in general? Cause I know a lot of people are a little bit iffy about it, which I get, you know, with the creasing and everything like that. But I can tell you right now, these are a size 10 and they did not crease too crazy. So I'm excited to see this colorway finished off in a nice patent leather material. Cause I love patent leather material. I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of too, it, it, it might be too loud for some people. It might be too like, you know, it might be too Michael Jackson. I want to love you. But you know, it's all good, it's all good. Y'all let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about these ones coming out. They are scheduled for an October release. Who knows, they might get pushed back, they might get pushed forward. This definitely looks like a sneaker that will be dropping later on this year. So stay tuned for that one. And remember, you guys heard it here first. Moving on to topic number two, Union, the LA Bay Streetwear store, is celebrating the 30th anniversary guys they opened up back in 1989 that was literally before i was born and it was known as the world's very first streetwear store period this was before streetwear was even a category in fashion 
that's how long the store has been around. That's how much history this store has had, and that's how much impact that this store has had on the fashion world, on the streetwear world, and just in and fashion in general. Not many stores can say they've even celebrated the 10 year anniversary. So to see that they're doing this, it's definitely no crazy news that guys, they're not just collaborating with one brand or two brands, not even five brands, 20 other brands throughout this year, guys, to celebrate their 30th anniversary. Absolutely crazy. Just to name a few, you got Nike, the Jordan brand, Stussy, um, Off-White, Fear of God Essentials, and Bait. And that's just to name a few because I really never heard of all the other brands that I wanted to list off. So I just decided I'll just put them on the screen anyways. So that's 20 other brands they're gonna be doing collabs with. And I'm telling you right now, if it's anything like last year when they dropped the Jordan 4s, and obviously, uh, I think it was a year and a half ago now when they dropped the Jordan 1 Union to LA's, those are basically every sneakerhead's grail sneaker. So Union is not new to creating silhouettes and colorways that become a staple in our community and in the streetwear market. So the fact that they're collaborating with 20 other brands, it's no surprise that this is probably going to be the biggest drops. Every time Union does a collab this year, it's gonna be a huge drop. It's gonna be a crazy amount of people wanting to get their hands on them. And especially when it comes to the Fear of God Essentials line. I haven't really heard Fear of God Essentials do a collab with any other brands, at least not that I could think of right off the top of my head. So if you guys think of one, let me know, put it in the comment section below. But the fact that Union is doing one, I'm definitely really, really interested to seeing what that's gonna look like. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the information that I shared with you guys today. Let me know in the comment sections below how you guys feel about the Jordan 1 patent leathers. What is the collaboration that you're most looking forward to when it comes to Union and all of their crazy collabs they're gonna be doing this year? Is it Nike, is it Jordan, is it Stussy, is it Union and Off-White? I'm telling you it's gonna be off the chain all year. Make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section below. Other than that, man, thank you so much for tuning in. It's your boy CJ. Until next time, you know what we do here. We out.